ತಸ್ ಭಗವತೋ ಅರ್ಹತ ಸಂಬುಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಧಮ್ಮಪದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಧಮ್ಮಪದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಪುಪ್ಪ ವಗ್ಗ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧ ವಾಸ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮಂಗ್ಸ್ and at the end of the day they had to pass the night somewhere and they were staying in a <clears throat> hall so the monks who were resting they were talking about their long trip hilly sandy and uh, mountainous greeny and uh, watery all these things they were talking about the earth the buddha having heard this he simply <clears throat> said to them rather than talking about the ground earth you must be able to talk about yourself a monk would be able to comprehend this world heaven and hell he or she also would be able to understand the sublime dhamma which is like a garland arranged by an expert garland maker reflecting mindfully on the advice and instructions given by the buddha the group of monk the group of monks purified their minds here the buddha uttered the verse was ko imam phatavim vijassati vijassati who will know this earth the earth called self it is the personal interior inward or subjective matter of self vijassati means special seen or perceiving with the help of the doctrine of impermanence anicca <clears throat> that is the impermanence of this physical body here yamaka loka or by the realm of yama means the four woeful states four woeful states that are namely hell niraja in pali language the animal kingdom tirachana gatti the petha realms and the asura world the pali term for hell is apaya apaya means no any advantage no any gaining no happiness and woeful state after death this was a pali word for sinners wrongdoers is apaya gamin for sinners and wrongdoers called apaya gami which means going to ruination or leading to a state of suffering another term for their behavior is apaya mukha that means facing ruin apaya mukha facing ruin 
head into misery leading to destruction there are certain friends those who accompany us to hell ruin or suffering and they are called apaya sahaya apaya sahaya those who accompany us to hell ruin or suffering they are the people who are called apaya sahaya tirachana gati o tirachana yoni the suffering of animal kingdom is visible and can easily be understood the term tirachana means going horizontally and cannot go erect or no upgrade or virtues no upgrade upgrade of virtues in the absence of upgrade of virtues today some people are following the tirachana gamim patipada the behavior of leading to rebirth among beasts they are called tirachana manusya animal men wild men if one leads his life with mean type of unwholesome makings actions he is considered an animal man since they go horizontally it takes a hundreds of births to come to a higher state as a human being from the animal kingdom so it is a woeful state their nature is that they always care of other animals it is the major suffering of their life the peter realm is the world belongs to the departed spirits or of the ghosts really the term has two meanings first is the souls of the fathers and the second is the ghost world ghosts are leading a miserable life as the result or punishment of some former misdeeds they may be raised in the existence by means of the dakkina sacrificial gift dana it is the sangha dana given to buddhist monks or any other spiritual persons after their karmic period of expiration they shift into another form of existence that is to the animal existence human kingdom or divine world the unhappy ghosts are represented in detail in the stories of the peta vattu of the kuddaka nikaya in the holy book of kuddaka nikaya the vimana vattu of the kuddaka nikaya provides the stories of the happy divine beings of the divine worlds there are four types of miserable ghosts explained in the milinda phanya 1000 peta the ghosts who are eating what has been vomited khopi pas peta the ghosts who are tormented by hunger and thirst nijam tanhika peta ghost who are very thirsty and consuming thirst 
para datupa jiwi pete a ghost who are living on what is given by others dependent on others gifts in our society there are some who can be considered to be ghosts really ghosts in human form and they are called peta manusa or manusa peta we have to be very careful of them and should not associate if we associate them we are heading to the downfall of our life what is the asura world or asura beings they belong to a class of mythological beings or inferior deities the talks about the world of asura the manbil and mal world asura world asura beings so they belong to a class of mythological beings or inferior deities as rebirth as an asura is considered an unhappy rebirth after death since there are many unhappy worlds or unhappy rebirths we have to have a great concern of the way of our life we have to avoid all the kinds of sinful actions words words and thoughts always we should try our best to cultivate ethically good actions speak good words which are pleasant to others which are pleasant to myself which are pleasant to yourself and create pleasant thoughts in our mind then we will be very happy always may you all be well and happy